I just made this little app in Vue.js that searches for recipes when a user types in a certain food. I installed native PHP, ran the serve command just to see what would happen, and... You asked and we're going to put it to the test. Can you build a Vue.js app and serve it inside of a native PHP application? I have seen so many comments after making my last video on native PHP. People asking, can you make a simple tutorial with Vue.js, please? Is it possible with Vue.js? She's wearing a bulletproof vest on the computer in case she gets hit by a screenshot, bro. Now granted, these comments didn't come from my channel. Which reminds me, if you're looking to level up your career with Laravel, Livewire, Tailwind CSS, AlpineJS, AWS, LMNLP, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Put some comments below letting me know what you're looking to learn and I'll see what I can do. Now back to the question, will native PHP work with a Vue.js application? The short answer, yes. The long answer is, well, let's dive in and take a look at some code. So I put together this little Vue app that allows users to search for recipes from the Spoonacular API, linked below. You can read their docs and how to get your own API key from their website. After a user enters the API key, they can search for any food item and a list of recipes get displayed. You can enhance the code yourself and let users see the ingredients and steps to make each recipe. I put this up on GitHub and made the repo public. Have a ball. To get started, I created a fresh Laravel application and following along with this tutorial from Laravel Tuts, linked below, I installed Vue.js and Vue Router for routery things. I also installed Tailwind in CSS because I'm not just a developer, I'm also a superhero. Lastly, I brought in native PHP and installed it per their docs linked in the description. In my app.js, I added the following code that tells Vue that we have routes and what the routes are. We have one for the app, which holds our router code, one for the search and list of results, and one for the setting page, which is really just a form that communicates with the Laravel API endpoints to get and store the API key. Updating our welcome.blade.php file with this code and running npm run dev, we can see things are not throwing any errors, just like all of my code. In the app.view, I added a link for our settings page and put our router view code here. In search.view, I added variables in our data method. Search, which will bind to an input in a form that when it gets submitted, it communicates with our recipe service. By the way, the recipe service is just a class that has functions to hold all of our HTTP stuff. When recipes are returned, we display them in a v4 loop. If the user hasn't uploaded their API key, we don't show them the form. If they upload it and it's wrong, then the search will throw an error. I wanted to create some Laravel integration. Instead of this just being a front-end application, community communicating with a third-party API, which is cool and all, but this is Laravel online. Let's do something with Laravel. I created some API endpoints for handling API key logic, get and post to the same endpoint. If we hit get, we get the contents of this storage API key.txt file. And when we post to the endpoint, we get the API key from the request and store it in the file. Beautiful. On the homepage, we hit this get request. And if there's no API key, we don't show the form. Like I said, let's submit our API key. That's going to get deleted before I publish this video. So you can't use it. Go get your own. Search for pizza and Marvel at our beauty. Now, will it build with native PHP? Let's run PHP Artisan native serve and boom, it works. Let's customize this app just a bit. Width, height, show dev tools, remember state, perfect. I do need to point out, I tried to add a menu item that links to my API key route, but since we're using view router, it's not gonna work. You should use Livewire instead. All right, enough about that. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below something that you're interested in learning regarding Laravel, Livewire, Tailwind, etc. And in the meantime, go ahead and watch this video about the time I almost lost it playing with Laravel Bolt inside of Laravel Folio.